Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another video. Today's video is about US workers want to go boss free. Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about US workers in America wanting to go boss free. Now, this is something that came across my feed recently on LinkedIn. LinkedIn always has good articles, and this was actually in the Daily Rundown. And I've really been liking this, so I don't know if you guys get this, so I would definitely recommend you guys get the Daily Rundown from LinkedIn. I think they've been killing it with that. And this was something in there. It was talking about America is about to become freelance nation. And what that means is the number of self-employed U.S. workers could triple by 2020. And here it is, 2018. That's just two years away. That's not that far. And they could triple to 42 million self-employed people. And this is by choice. This is not because, uh, you know, they're being forced to or whatever that is. They're saying a staggering 97% of those who freelance say they're not interested in returning to traditional work up from 10% in 2016. 43% think the switch will give them more control over their career. And the survey results lend credence to what other studies have suggested. For many, climbing the corporate ladder isn't as appealing as professional freedom. So this is amazing, guys. This is a, a dramatic culture change in how uh, the U.S. thinks, how people in the US think about their career, how everybody thinks about everything. And it's amazing. I think YouTube has had a huge part in this because you've got all the gurus on YouTube. You got Grant Cardone, you've got Gary V, you've got uh, Randall Pitch from Live Fit, you've got the uh, fitness guys, Christian Guzman, you've got all these people who have built brands off of the back of YouTube been able to uh, build companies off that brand other people you know build consulting businesses whatever you got Roberto Blake Daryl Eves all these people on YouTube who have been able to uh, leave the corporate world and start their own self-employed journey on the backs of YouTube and they encourage other people to do it we've had more encouragement it is now easier than ever before to be self-employed because all you need is you know, a Facebook page, a YouTube channel, an Instagram account, all that stuff is free to set up. Um, and then you're on your way, whether it's, you know, you're doing fitness, you're like doing meal plans and stuff, whether you're, you know, even doing clinical research like this channel or we're like the clinical trials guru or whatever it is, there's somebody for everybody out there. There's something for everybody out there to go on their self-employed journey. And it's easier than ever before. Think about it this way. For your parents to be able to do that, they didn't grow up with cell phones and the internet. So in order for them to become self-employed, they literally had to wait until after work, after 5 p.m., before they could do anything. You know, think about all the stuff that is closed usually at that time. You know, banks close. Uh, that's after normal business hours. So most businesses are, you know, on the downswing of things or if not closed. So it was very hard for people to become self-employed unless you had a lot of capital up front and were able to you know, quit your job and then go uh, head first into it. Now, you can have things running you know, while you're at your job or you know, the internet is 24 seven. You could be working when you're not at your job on your self-employed career path. So it's absolutely amazing everything that has been happening in this space and I think it's gonna even accelerate. I think more and more people are gonna to want to be self-employed. And that's awesome. Because uh, when more and more people are self-employed, people tend to work together in more creative ways and it creates more and more competition. People are able to you know, build their own businesses up. And I just, I'm just a full believer in the small business economy. I feel like America's at its best when small businesses are strong and able to uh, grow and more and more people are able to get into the small business arena. So this is an interesting finding that 
more and more people are wanting to become freelance and don't even want to go in back into the uh, corporate world. Um, I feel like people are finding that it's more freeing. You get more autonomy. Um, you know, trading five days for two days is not a great trade. Um, you know, five days at work and then you get two days on the weekend to do what you want in your own thing. Whereas if you're self-employed, you're doing what you want. Um, you can, you know, especially if you're on a contract, you can take a few months off in between contracts and travel the world, work on some hobbies, you know, whatever, whatever. But things are a lot more structured in the corporate world. And I think people are finding that they prefer it uh, in this freelance space. And, you know, a lot of businesses are coming, are opening up for people that freelance. You've got Upwork, you've got Fiverr, which I've used multiple times, um, and opportunities like that. So if you have a skill, you can uh, leverage it on those place, those platforms to, uh, you know, enter in the freelance world or just provide some extra income on the side. So lots of opportunities here. And something else was interesting too that they mentioned in this article was uh the basically there was another article written that was linked to this one that says anyone all anyone really wants is autonomy in the working world so they come they did a study and asked people hey uh there's this one position where you're going to be over a lot of people you're going to be motivating them you're going to have a big team at your disposal but you know, you're, you're not going to be off in your own autonomous silo versus this other job where you work completely autonomous. Um, you, you make up your own rules. You have more, a lot more control over everything that you do. And people chose the more autonomous role overwhelmingly. It wasn't even close. I think they said 74% of people chose the more autonomous role. So we're seeing a classic shift in how uh, Americans are thinking and a shift in how people are viewing uh, how they want to live their lives and work around the world. And, you know, this article is specifically about America, but I think we're going to see changes in other countries as well in the Western developed world. So this was interesting. Thought you guys would care to know. And especially because one of the best positions, I think, that is that has a pretty good autonomy is CRA, Clinical Research Associate, which is in clinical research. I think that's the prototypical autonomous position. And that's really good because you can be a freelance contractor or you can work in a company. But And uh, even the company role is not even, you know, it does not have less autonomy that, that much. I mean, yeah, you have dedicated PTO and all that stuff, but there are definitely benefits to working in the company. Whereas, you know, you have backups in case you need to take off or something or reschedule something. There are people there that can help back you up and respond to sites in your absence if necessary. So there are pros and cons to both, but I think CRA is one of the great positions that demonstrates how people want more autonomy. If you just look at the demand, everyone wants to be a CRA. I get emails all the time about, hey, I want to be a CRA. I want to be a CRA. Um, and I think a lot of people want to go in that direction for the freedom and the autonomy that you do have in that role. So I think we're going to see it. And, you know, I'm going to do a video here pretty soon on entrepreneurship, which is basically, you know, having autonomy and having the the ability and the, the wherewithal to uh, kind of have your own project inside of the company. You manage your own budget. You manage everything. You're basically like an entrepreneur inside of a company. Um, and I think we're going to see the rise in that as well. Definitely in clinical research. There are examples of that. So we'll talk about that in the next video. But as far as this video, guys, thanks for listening. Email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com as always for any inquiries you may have. And Comment down below what you think about. Do you want to go boss free? Do you want more autonomy in your role? Of course, it's not for everybody, but I'm curious what you guys think. So comment that down below, guys. Take care.